I'm Jesse Sinsack. And I'm Lila Ibrahim. Welcome to Beyond the Metal, the AP's complete coverage of the 2010 Winter Games. The games have begun, and there is a lot to talk about, so let's get to the news. Team USA had a great day in Moguls, where the U.S. brought home the gold. USA's Hannah Kearney upset Canada, taking the gold, beating out Jennifer Heil and Shanna Barkey in the U.S.'s first gold of the games. Jesse, we watched the uh, Moguls together yesterday, and you had pointed out some interesting elements as far as the weather and how it affects these skiers. Yeah, you know, it was pouring rain out, but it didn't really affect the uh, the Moguls' competition whatsoever because the snow was so saturated it allowed the skiers to get from top to bottom with no problems whatsoever with control and uh you know, any sort of landings whatsoever. It was great. So in a way, it can almost be a, a pro. Yeah, it can be a pro. I mean, obviously nobody wants to snowboard or ski in the rain, but for the, uh, you know, freestyle moguls competition, it was perfect. In the first full day of competition, we watched Team USA have a great day in speed skating where Apollo Ono added another medal to his collection. And in other news, there are still protesters in and around Vancouver. Police in riot gear confronted more than 200 mass protesters who hurled newspaper boxes through the display windows of a popular department store selling Olympic souvenirs. Losers took to the track with heavy hearts yesterday, where reminders of the Georgian athlete who died there were visible everywhere. The AP's Mark Carlson has more. After careful consideration, Olympic organizers decided the luge events will go on as scheduled. In the wake of the death of the Georgian loser, they made enhancements at the track by building the wall bigger at the accident scene, and they've also slowed down the track by having the men start from the women's position and having the women start from further down. Associated Press Luge beat writer Tom Withers says, you can already notice a difference at the track. You know, for these guys that have been sliding at 95 all week to suddenly be sliding at 88, you know, that's a huge difference. And even to the naked eye, you could tell the big difference. Olympic officials say the changes made to the event were made primarily for emotional reasons and not for safety reasons because they still believe the track is safe. Mark Carlson, the Associated Press, Whistler. Back to you guys in Vancouver. There's a lot going on in Vancouver, so remember to check out wintergames.ap.org for all your Olympic news. And we are here to not just bring you the news, but take you in and around Vancouver and Whistler for a complete Olympic experience. And it's Valentine's Day, so Jesse and I are taking you out to dinner in Whistler for a dining tour. That's right, Lila. Then we're going to sit down with my buddy Paul Brassau, who works for Vanakaki. That is not the only reason we're talking to Paul, Jess. That's correct. <laughs> Paul and I, we're both on The Bachelorette together. We're not only going to talk to Paul about Valentine's Day, but we're going to chat about the Olympics as well. Check it out.